we often refer to people with mental illness as mad, crazy, insane, psychotic. But have you ever stopped and thought about how hard it must be to have an illness that you cannot control and that you do not deserve? We are often curious on what people in psychiatric hospitals do. Do they sit around all day and act crazy, scream, hear voices and talk to themselves? My first encounter with patients at Fort England Hospital changed my perception on what we call the mentally insane. These patients were doing amazing things. They were creating crafts and starting projects which they dedicated their lives to on a daily basis at the occupational therapy department. When I came here, uh, I, I, I know nothing about sewing. Then on the machine, I'm using two machines, the big one and the small one. Then I'm sewing the scatter cushions, the round scatter cushions, the four corner scatter cushions. So we were here at Tenerife, we're doing continentals after they cut the sponge. We put the sponge into the continental. I cut the, uh, the continentals. And then after I cut it, my assistant will, will sew it. The occupational therapy department is helping arm patients with valuable work skills and giving them hope for employment when they are finally discharged from the hospital. Male and female therapy workshops are a bit of a misnomer. It's an old term. It has nothing to do with gender anymore. Um, there are different projects running, so woodworking projects, car washing project, uh, sewing, um, which seem like simple tasks, but they are designed not just as occupational therapy in the true sense, but also to empower people uh, with uh, life skills, skills that you and I may take for granted. The layer is, is the best of all, so that we can do now, but we can do it for the community. And as we can see, we can see layer, we can do it. And I know that Massy <laughs> I'm on the way, I'm living at the night. I'm going to improve myself outside. Some patients who are criminal offenders at the Fort England Hospital are kept in the maximum security unit where they are treated regularly and are kept indoors 24-7. They are not at a level to go to occupational therapy, but they have created a drama play which reflects on how some of these patients ended up in this particular unit. In neighboring Fort Bayford, at Tower Hospital, Dr. Mihan is taking an initiative to try and destigmatize mental illness. She conducts an art group for schizophrenic patients. She has helped the patients gain the confidence to exhibit their work at this year's National Arts Festival to not just be seen as patients who are part of an art therapy group, but to be valued as artists. One of the most interesting parts of the project has been meeting the patients, the so-called patients, and realizing that, that they're, they're people. And a lot of them have had partners and children and relationships and, and just normal full lives in the way that, that we have normal and full lives. It is so easy to label others Anyone can be affected by different forms of mental illnesses, but if it is treated, one can lead a full and functional life.